solid two or three hours too late. From Isn't that of crazy? <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there you this could have afternoon our going, and all yeah. this stuff. you know what we're talking about today. Making we're talking about water repellent. Water repellent. Uh, so let me show you the toy first. That always seems to be fun. Let me show you the okay. secret, how to make your own and kind of go from there. Look at the sand. So pick up your sand. Okay. You can kind of pour some in your hand. Nice dry sand. Mm -hmm. Got yep. it. Nice dry sand. Colored sand, right? Yes. So now watch what it happens. Now nice. we're going to get it wet. So you hold up your glass of water mm -hmm. like this. And now pour the sand into the water and watch what happens. Oh, look at, oh, would you look yeah. at that? It's almost like there's a coating on the like, sand. Yes. You got it, you got it. So every kid who's out there looking at this now is going, I know what that is, it's called magic sand, and they're <laughs> absolutely correct. It is magic sand. Now pour it back into here, and look at this, you get dry sand back. Look, wow. do you see that? Look at that. So there's dry Ooh. sand that's back. And so this sand, is hydrophobic, meaning that it has a water-fearing yes. uh, coating on the outside, and you can find it at your local camping store. Really? You know, wow. in that, isn't that, that is crazy? So, cool. yeah. so okay. here, if you pour it into here, you can actually do sand castles inside here. So you could pour sand into a bowl of water like this, and then you could reach in and actually pull, pull out dry out. sand. Wow. If nobody knew, a little magic trick. Yeah. So I'll show you the secret. It's this water repellent material. The science is called, um, it's hydrophobic, so that's what we're trying to, to kind of take a look at here. If you just go and buy regular sand like this, so this is regular craft sand, and you put it out on a tray like this, you can now hit it with this uh, water repellent material, a Scotch guard kind of material, mm -hmm. never wet, make everybody happy, kiwi, whatever it is. Spray it like this, let it dry, and then move it around and spray it again and spray it again and spray it again. It now becomes water fearing, right? So the water ah. can't touch it and kind of hook onto yeah. it. But you can do it to so many different things. Okay. We've covered somebody uh, <laughs> with this stuff. Look at this. I covered this entire thing of plastic here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna move this over, Ryan. Okay. I'm gonna pull this just a little bit closer Hopefully that doesn't mess things up. So watch what happens. I'm gonna pour the water in like this and the water will stay in this little area that we've kind of masked off. Because so, you've masked the corn, yeah, the, the and edges. And if it comes out, it just beads up and goes away. So look oh, at this. Oh my goodness. So here is the water. <laughs> Tell me that's not cool. That's I didn't remarkable. color it so everybody can see that uh, I haven't added a special chemical. But now watch what happens when we drip it in here like this. We can now drip the water in like this. Kim, we, we oh, blow look it at in. That. Oh, it beads up. Yeah, goodness. so it can fall it into it like this. So here, watch up. this. It just gets absorbed. So if you blow on on this side here, it just see how it wow. just kind of picks it up. Isn't that kind of crazy? Yeah. So it's this hydrophobic material that now just allows it to work its way into it in these little. It's almost like awesome. Terminator. Oh, it's fun to play with too. Much more.